We saw a vampire movie in the cinema draft house in Arlington, and I tell you, it's okay, it's a Halloween time season, and it seemed all right, but I tell you, that thing, it was kind of silly. It was real, some, you know, not real. Say the it's, name of the movie. I don't forgot what it is. Nosferatu. What? Nosferatu. Huh? Nosferatu. <laughs> it's a German movie from... I gotta ask, that, that speaks fluid German. From, uh, no, I, I believe, no, 1926. Nosferatu. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Good enough, good enough. Yeah. Okay, anyway, it's about this vampire who's drinking people's blood in the dark, and soon the rooster, <laughs> you know, um, and soon the rooster came up, he died. But the thing is, he killed so many people. But the thing is... You know, you see it is made up movie. It's kind of silly horror movie, but just to see that face, the sharp teeth, and and the the you know going and drinking girls' blood, that was really give me the chills. I don't want to see. Sticker up that we got after the. Show. Anyway, I just <clears throat> it, it was just. Horrific movie, okay? Not scary, scary, but because you know this thing is made up anyway. But the thing is, it really scared me. And I hope to thank God for the weather. I know I sound stupid now, but I'm nervous. Thank God for the weather is nice. Otherwise, I will feel worse. <laughs> now, the name of the band is right here. They were selling the merchandise. The, the Invincible Czars. The, ba the band, it was terrific. I love them, real people. Wait, wait, wait for this bus to go by. What the bus doing there? Oh, it's waiting at the light. The live band, it was awesome. I tell you, I love them. I respect them. They did wonderful job. They composed the music. They, yeah, they composed the music themselves. Yeah. Good. Yeah, they compose the music themselves. They're very nice. They they like to talk to people. Yeah, they're talking. To people uh, after yeah, the show. they're talking to people right now. Anyway, I just didn't have a chance because just uh, quite a few people that were around them. Just compose the music, do all that stuff. Uh, I mean, it was worth coming. It was worth it. So what can I say? They were playing non-stop the whole movie, and it right. was, uh, yeah, it was awesome, the score. It was non-stop, and not only that, they, they, they just, they wrote the music themselves. The they wrote the music themselves, <laughs> and, and just real people make the movie awesome. Let's talk it, about the movie a little bit more. German silent film by F.W. Yeah, that was, was like 90 some years ago. Yeah, he was like a pioneering uh, silent horror director. Right. Well, I believe he also did the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, but oh, I always he did? get these. I always get mm. those uh, mixed up. Yeah, I believe he did that. Oh. Because uh, I get that mixed up with um, Dr. Mabuse, which I believe Fritz Lang directed, another German director who mm. did a lot of stuff. He did Metropolis. As well. Anyway, and oh, and I like the houses. Too. Did you see the buildings and everything? It was interesting, yeah. it was interesting to see it in the old times. My God, that's be that, this time it was before my father born. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. Anyway, um, it, it, it really um, took me back to the past to see how people living at that time, how the yeah, how people live at that time, how uh, the, the 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 clothes, the hairstyle, the makeup. Although you can see a lot of makeup anyway, but uh, anyway, it was very interested. Uh, just, I want to see silent movies, but not vampires. It was, it was all right. Should, it was fine. You should see the silent film Vampire. Now that's a really great silent film. Really? I like that more than this. Yeah. Nosferatu. It's good and it's creepy and it was pioneering. I feel it's a little bit slow because it's yeah. like you can tell they were still learning the language of filmmaking at the time. It moves a little slowly in the middle where they like explain everything to the point where it drags a little bit. But even so, Count Orlock, the actual vampire, he's yeah. very effective. His eyes, the way he stares at people has been famous yeah. for practically a hundred years oh, now. Yeah, the way he looked, the, he, the expression, yeah, the expression on his face and his eyes that really give you the chills. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, yeah. anyway, I, I say it was appropriate because it's a, what is it now, almost Halloween. So 
Anyway, in the cinema draft house, the people are very nice, um, very friendly, and the musicians, I love you. Were you actually scared by the movie? I, I, I wasn't scared, but to see it, I, you know it's acting, okay? You know it's act. But just to see it and see those sharp point teeth uh, yeah. and the, you know, long skeleton fingers, it, that gives you the chills, you know, it's not me, uh, okay? I don't, I love movies, but I, not so much the vampires, okay? Well, it was, uh, not only, it was a great score, and that makes a big difference, because I've seen Nosferatu before, and I think it had, like, a silly organ score. I saw it online years ago, and it wasn't nearly as effective as this. Well, the score they did was like almost made me jump out of my seat at times. Yeah. It was almost like a Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross Especially score. Especially when you younger, uh, you know, but the music made it better, made it good. You know, the music really made it effective and just to see the live people there and, uh, you know, compose the music non-stop, hour and a half or hour and 15 minutes, I'm not sure, I'm not... Sure, how long? You can, you can tell that Nosferatu's influenced vampire movies throughout the last basically mm. 100 years or so. Mm. So many vampires have been built around this character of uh, Count Orlock. I don't know if you like vampire movies, see it. But it's, it's and obviously good to they're see still it. making new music for Yeah, it. it's good to see it with live music. Okay. Oh, and the food was good. Oh, yeah, the food was good. I ate a little bit. This is a draft house, not the Alamo draft house. This is just in, an independent In theater. Arlington, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I had a quesadilla, and my mom had um, a, sort of a veggie wrap, kind of, um, and I had some of it, too. Yeah, yeah because really I ate good. very little. I, I just didn't want to have a stomach ache. Yeah, this was really good. I, I like it there, and they have stand-up comedy really. here, too. But uh, anyways, yeah, it was a really good experience. I wish I could do this more often. Unfortunately, going anywhere to see movies is kind of expensive. The tickets were cheap, and the tickets are often, on Mondays, as you can tell, they have older movies playing here for the last six months. So it's a second-run theater. So Mondays, it's like $2 movies, and Tuesdays and Wednesdays, they're very cheap as well. But these were a little more, these were yeah, $10 because, because, because yeah, yeah, because it was a touring band. Yeah, it was worth But it. this place is great for, you see second-run yeah. movies really cheap, but then you pay for food. You order right. more to get dinner here, too. But anyways, great experience. Yes, thank you. All right. And I'll get a shot of the moon here. Yeah. Slowly, I don't know how to zoom in faster with this camera. Is it a full moon? Yeah. It is tonight? Yeah. Oh. It's kind of weird. Seeing a vampire movie and full, full moon. moon is out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. What is the day? The 17th? Yeah. Okay.